Good morning, hello, and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful morning. So today's video, let's check out the high yield baskets. Uh, you know, let's talk about it. I, I know we've been talking, of, uh, talking about high yield basket for the last couple of weeks now. Very interesting concept, okay? By the way, uh, uh, today's title is uh, high, yield bas uh, high Extraction Basket, New Coffee Trend. And uh, I say quotation question mark there. Is that is that a new trend, or or there's something just kind of like just a phase, right? It's gonna be here to stay, or it's gonna be phase out, like you know, like anything else. So let's find out, okay? I mean, you know, let me know if you have any thoughts on it. Uh, let me know on the live uh, chat as well. Okay, we got some few people joining. We got Jesse's here right now, Terry. So here's a question for all of you watching, if you're just joining us. Is a high extraction basket just, just a fad or here to stay? Yeah, let me know. So we are having a conversation uh, this morning. So, so we call like Coffee Talk Thursday, okay? Since today's Thursday. Yeah, again, okay. by the way, so I think I did a, a Experiment, uh, experimental a couple of days ago, actually last week. So we did a test with a high ear baskets I have here uh, from Posado. And then uh, I used the paper, okay, uh, with a filter on the bottom. So that was an interesting video. If you, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Very close, comes to flavor wise. So it's kind of hard to tell, okay. We have uh, Azin has the S work billet baskets. Uh, as in, let me know what do you think about that basket as well. Okay, so there is a uh, couple of baskets out there. We have uh, S work from Sheldon makes it's called billet baskets. Okay, I have a pulled up right here. So let me show you guys. Okay, let's take a look. So this is a S work billet baskets. As you can see, you see lots lots of horse there. All right, you see that. A lot of holes, which means it's increased the uh, uh, flow rate. Increase the flow rate, make it a little faster, and you can actually go finer grind size as well. In result in higher extraction. Okay, look at the price. Two hundred bucks. So that's the what Azin has. Okay, I'd love to hear what he uh, thinks about it. And so next one is the uh, Weber unit baskets, okay? Weber unit baskets. Here's a basket right here. Unit filter basket. Same concept. Has lots of holes in it. Uh, check out the price on the top. Uh, $85. Okay, not too bad. So here's the better one here, Posado. That's what I have, okay? As you can see, lots of holes in it as well. Okay, that's the common theme, right? The edge to edge. Lots and lots of holes. Okay. $65. So we got $65 for the Posado. We have a Sheldon uh, at the uh, S-Work for $200. Very similar concept. I mean, again. The common theme is the uh, lots, lots of holes in it. So increase the flow and also increase, uh, so you can go grind size a little finer and then uh, bring up the extraction rate as well. Okay. And by the way, so, so Posada is going to uh, give you guys 10% uh, off. Use my code. Okay. My name, Hoon, H-O-O-N. You guys want to get a 10% off all the Posada products. Okay. And then and also, uh, I think last time I checked, because uh, I mentioned to Posado uh, recently about the shipping cost. It's crazy. So, uh, and then they agree that if you spend more than $50 on their websites, uh, you got a free shipping. So, so that's the, I, I, I mean, I've been talking to Posado for a while, so. So, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, I mean, that's good. You know, shipping, free shipping over 50 bucks is pretty, uh, pretty good. Yeah. So Jay Womack said 58.50 shipping. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's definitely 
uh, better than $85 or uh, $200. And also, let's not forget the WAPO basket as well. Okay, let's not forget the WAPO. That's about $200 range too. Okay, hold on a second here. We have uh, Azin say, Azin has, I have the standard flow options. Okay. So what, uh, so I, I don't know what that is though. Is that, so they have, a, they have different patterns. Standard flow from the S work. Okay, reduce flow for high flow for men. Goodness. Hold on a second here, guys. Let me show you what S work did. Okay. Let, let's take a look at the S work, the price point. So Azin has the standard flow at 200. And then you can go to high flow. You can add another thirty-five dollars, so two thirty-five for the high flow. And meat, meat belt bias. Oh, uh, I see. Man, look at that, guys. Very interesting design as well. Even smaller holes. Goodness. And the variable flow. And oh wow. Okay. I see what uh, Sheldon did. So pretty much uh, like a unifilter, Posada, or it's called a uh, S-Work billet. Uh, if you go to standard, a standard flow, uh, has a uniform holes, okay, throughout the edge to edge. So that's kind of like, we, you know, a very similar com comparison there. But if you, uh, but Sheldon has a different types of the basket, basket design that give you more interesting the flow pattern. And the uh, in results give you different tasting notes, perhaps. I mean, I don't see myself spending $235 on baskets. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. I mean, that is a, that is a quite a bit. Okay, that is quite a bit. And then we have, a, okay, hold on a second here. We have, as in say, check on top. On the top, he has a 58 step down, 49 options. Okay, 49 millimeter. Okay, we have a John. John has the 20 milligram or 20 gram dip extraction basket at $30 for the three bombers. And also, I saw on the uh, Nomcore website. Okay, Nomcore also have the high extraction basket for around 30 bucks as well. Okay, and they're very interesting options. Okay, so now you have. Again, uh, let me know on the live chat right now. Is that is that new fad or new trend or fad or it's here to stay? Yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, and uh, are we are we gonna pull some shots? Okay, we're gonna pull some shots with my uh, high ear basket from Posada uh, this morning as well. So uh, I got two coffees here. One is a Costa Rica uh, chocolate brownie. Caramel and pink lemonade, okay, from Good Brothers here. So this one is an anaerobic process. Uh, dragon fruit, red fruit, and papaya. I think I think let's go with this one. All right, let's go with chocolate brownie and caramel, pink lemonade. If my theory is correct, these high ear baskets bring out that pink lemonade more. All right, so that's what I'm hoping for. So that's what I'm hoping for. So. I know some of you out there, you know, why should I use the uh, high yield baskets, all right? Uh, rather than just regular basket with some paper on it because uh, put the puck paper on the bottom, increase the flow rates, and you can actually lower your grind size as well, okay? So, I mean, regular standard baskets like IMS, VST, you are looking about 30 bucks. Okay, so $30 with some paper. Uh, because paper costs you what ten ten dollars for like hundred, so you can make hundred espresso with one ten dollars. So in a way, okay, if you buy, you know, let's say Posada for fifty sixty bucks, I mean you, you don't have to buy the paper anymore, right? But with the paper, there's ongoing cost. So I mean, if you do the cost benefit. Yeah, you know, it's about the same, okay. 
And then with the paper, you're going to have that really even cleaner cup taste as well because the paper filter, I wonder. Here, here's what I wonder. What if I'm going to use a high ear basket with paper on the bottom? I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, that's also a fun test as well. You know what? Maybe we should do that too. Why not, guys? Right? Why not? So we're going to do two tests uh, this morning for fun. We're going to start with a high ear basket. And then let's test it. Uh, let's try that cup. And then followed by high ear basket with paper on the bottom. Uh, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to make it even, it's going to be different. I don't know. I mean, that's what we are here. By the way, if you're joining us for the first time, so that's the, what we do here. Uh, we're trying to test, we debunk. Okay, uh, we, just, uh, we just have some fun. Okay, copy making should be fun and interesting. That's the great thing about have some time. Okay, because it's time. I mean, if you have time, you can do a lot of fun stuff. But, and unfortunately, most of us out there, you know, not you guys, okay? Obviously, you have, you guys have plenty of time to watch my videos, so uh, you guys are the exception, but uh, most of us get up in the morning, make yourself coffee as soon as possible, and after work, okay? After work. And then we have a debt. Say so those flat baskets are expensive. Coffee hobby is very expensive. Okay, it's not. Okay, we're not gonna sugarcoat it here. Okay, coffee as a hobby is very expensive, but a lot cheaper than you're getting a sports car. Okay, all right, it's all relative. All right, it's all relative there. All right, Jesse say my wapo clock like like a B man. I don't know what that means, but yeah, so Jesse is having uh, issues with his Wapo basket. Maybe those holes are so tiny, all right? Maybe it might be get clogged with the oil. Yeah, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. But okay, by the way, uh, l let me know. I mean, if you are uh, brand new to the live chat, okay, so let me acknowledge you. I'm glad you guys are here this morning. Okay, so uh, if you are watching after the fact, um, if you are watching my video, you know, after live, just skip this boring section, okay? Skip this boring section here. I'm just skip it. All right. All right. So let's make some coffee. I think I'm going to use 18 gram dose this morning. Bring us a little closer. Okay, so we have uh, that, say, buying 200 baskets is like paying thousands for an audio cable very you know what you are correct i know my buddy jason in canada uh, he's the audiophile okay and i mean he loves his audio so he told me about his one of those oh uh, one of his cable audio cable i was shocked by how much his just the cable cost okay his cable cost more than my entire my coffee collection cost. I mean, you know, yeah. It's crazy. It's nuts. All right, so let's put some shot here. You know, by the way, uh, nothing like freshly roast coffee, but not too fresh though, okay? Just wait about minimum seven days, okay? Minimum seven days. Too fresh is not that great. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, so let's measure our 17 gram. So that's what we're gonna do. 17, uh, so my basket is a, a 17 to 19 gram basket. So, so mine is a medium size. So we're gonna do two shots. So we have uh, Brent from Good Brothers here right now. So Brent is the, on the live chat, he's the owner of, actually he's the roaster and owner of Good Brothers Coffee. Yeah. And then we have an ongoing uh, coupon code for this channel for, from Brent, so Hun15, okay, is the coupon code. So you can get a 15% off 
All right. You know, but I, I do like coupons, okay, for you guys. Because coffee can be very pricey, you know. Goodness, I mean, average coffee out there, like between 15 and like 20 bucks, 20, 23 bucks, average. They're not even give you a full pound either. They give you like 10 ounces or 12 ounces. And the Good Brothers Coffee give us usually 12 ounces back. So yeah, if you go to some other coffee shops, 10 ounces back, pretty standard. But I do enjoy this coffee here though. It's called uh, Colombia Finca La Flores, natural, naturally processed, very fruity. Okay, uh, let's see here, grinder. Let's use the Cafetec MC5 this morning. Okay, let's go with the Cafetec MC5 as my grinder choice this morning. Uh, grinder size, man, I have no clue. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna set at number four for now. All right, number four, man. The, the thing is, the grinder size changes every morning. Uh, with the humidities and, you know, being dryness, it changes. So it's very intricate, okay? All right, here we go. Again, let's see here. You say, Joey say hydrangea, five ounce. Uh, I think some coffee from hydrangeas are smaller. Okay. All depend on the coffee though. I mean like a say coffee. Let's see here. I think they give you what, 10 ounce? I think they are 10 ounce. Yeah. I think say is about 10 ounce. All right, so let's start with uh, without the paper on the bottom, okay? Let's go without the paper on the bottom here. Okay, now who's, uh, who's joining us for the first time? Well, eight ounce for the say. Yeah, Jesse say eight ounce for say. Eight ounce, goodness. That's not much. So that's not even, yeah, because uh, you, you figure that's half pounds, right? Yeah. That's a great, okay, by the way, it's a great thing about the, this grinder, low RPM, conical, very uniform, all right? You don't have to do much. I usually do the WDT, but you're just gonna go straight up, okay? All right, let's put the shot here, folks. Bring us a little closer. Uh, we are using the Lillet Bianca this morning as a grinder choice. And then let's not forget my puck screen. I do like enjoy puck screen though. Pop that thing in. I'm gonna be using a little large cup here. All right, here we go, let's pull the shot. Let's go like one to like 2.5. Okay, so watch the time as well. We're gonna go about 40 gram. Okay, let's go about 40. Let's go 45. 46 at 24 seconds. Okay, 46.7 at 40, yeah. 46.8 grams, almost 47 grams at 24 seconds. Okay, so remember that time, okay. 40, 47 at uh, 24 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna do exactly the same grind size this time. 
identical grind size and also uh, same basket, same everything. And I'm going to add paper on the bottom. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put the paper on the bottom here. That's it. So, he, so this is the paper. You can actually make it at home. Okay, if not, you can buy it. Okay. I believe uh, Brent from uh, Brent is... Hey, Brent, are you st still selling the paper at uh, your website at Good Brothers? Let me know. Okay. I think Brent sells at the, his website. Let's put the bottom. And I know some people like to put uh, a wet paper, okay? So I usually do, using my, you know, scroll gun here, just like so. You don't have to if you don't want to, but, you know, stick it well, you know, go stick. Do the exact same process. Okay, same grind size. Same everything, guys. Okay, everything is the same. So last time we did 46.8 gram, right? 46.8 gram at 24 seconds. Okay, so that's the, just a regular standard shot. Okay. So with the paper, if my theory is correct, it's going to increase the flow rate, okay? So high, uh, high yield extraction basket increase the flow rate already, and it's going to be even more faster. So let's find out, okay? We're going to go 46.8 gram, okay? Okay, watch it here, 46, there we go, 18 seconds, okay, at 48 gram, all right, so we got 18 seconds at 48 gram, without the filter, uh, without the paper filter, without the paper filter, 24 seconds at 46.8 gram, all right, so that's increase actually uh, the 18 and 24. We are looking at six seconds difference there. Okay, so six seconds. So with paper, we are talking about six second di uh, difference. Uh, we can actually even go finer, okay, uh, meet the, uh, reach the same goal. So the finer grind size, you can extract more, okay? So with that one paper alone, so make a big difference. So let's give it a try. So this is the without the paper. And so this is a 24 seconds at uh, almost 47 gram. Okay. Man, wonderful pink lemonade is really quite tasty. Mm chocolate brownie. I mean, if you guys are like very delicate, interesting espresso, all right, I mean, this one is, uh, I mean, definitely interesting for sure. Pink lemonade, I mean, goodness, yeah, uh, pretty fun, pretty fun to drink. So this is the with the paper on it. Again, uh, it's more cleaner because the filter paper actually uh, filter out a little bit of oil as well give you a more cleaner taste. So this one you can actually highlight even more uh, pink lemonade. I mean, they're both good, okay? They both has the merit to it, all right? And uh, if you just use a regular standard basket, and also, all right, 
also uh, interesting that as well. Uh, Jay say this paper is counterintuitive to me. Why does it flow it fast? It seems like wood. Uh, actually, no. With one paper, uh, increase the flow rate, and the two paper, no. I think I did it with the three paper last time. Uh, slow down, okay? Slow down. So, uh, did you let your filter paper rest? What do you mean rest? Uh, because uh, before I did that, it was fully saturated. Okay, fully saturated. So, so I mean again. Uh, you don't have to saturate it uh, because I did a couple of different tests before. Yeah. So, I mean, if you don't want to, so you, technically you can use just regular standard baskets, you know, and then add the paper. Pretty much you're going to have similar result without the paper, right? So, that's a lot of different ways to make coffee, guys. Again, I'm not talking about which one is better. It's all different. They give you a different flavor, a different taste. So I know people love the kind of like high yield extraction, the pushing the boundary. And then uh, some people not, some people just wants to get a good coffee in the morning. But if you're a hobbyist like us, I don't know that's, uh, that's something is definitely worth, you know, looking into, okay. Have some fun, all right? Have some fun. Hold on a second. Yeah, so Greg said, I'm being silly. You always let uh, your pour over rinse your, eh. I mean, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, at this, I mean, the espresso is so strong. I mean, it's not that, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, don't, uh, don't bother, all right? Just don't bother. I mean, if you want to, you could, you could do it, all right? You, if you want to, you could, but yeah. But yeah, you don't have to. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really curious now, guys. So this is what happens when you're starting to experiment, okay? What happens when we use uh, 18 gram, right? Just, uh, right uh, just my regular IMS basket with the filter on the bottom. What kind of result are we going to get? Okay. I bet you guys want to see it. So let's, let's give it a try. Okay, let's give it a try there. So let's give it a try. By the way, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, let me know. Okay, let me know. Uh, and the Josh just bought a 54 millimeter fancy basket from Gnomecore. Yeah, uh, Josh, let me know. Okay, let me know if you're joining us next time. What kind of result you got from that uh, uh, high ear basket from Gnomecore? Yeah, I'm very curious about that as well, myself. Okay. I'm very curious. So here's the thing about the Amazon products. If it's some, up, or some, if it's some company come up with really, really cool concept or ideas, we are talking matter of weeks and months. You're going to see some, some version of their products on Amazon pop up. Okay. All right. As consumer, uh, that is uh, fantastic. Okay. Not as the... Inventor, that pretty stinks. But as a consumer, buying buying from Amazon is uh, really good, okay? Because I love their return policy. All right, just use for what, couple weeks, and if you don't like it, just return it, okay? So, yeah, as a consumer, Amazon is great. As seller, Amazon is pretty bad, okay? All right. That's the reason why I do have a, a lot of Amazon link on my description. Because, you know, whatever I showcase my products, you know, something I live demo, I prefer, you know, product, you can get it from Amazon. Okay. So in that case, you got nothing to lose there. All right. By the way, uh, how many people are watching? Right? It's about a few people watching, okay? About 50 some odd people watching. Uh, who's the first timer? Okay, just, just let me know. Yeah, let me know. Hold on a second. We have a uh, Mato. I think it's a uh, Max from Mato is watching. I hope. Many puck screen selling on the Amazon. Uh, are uh, uh, any difference between puck screen? Uh, not, not really. No puck screen, all the same. Okay. Uh, high ear baskets. Uh, most likely, it's going to be different. It's going to be varies. 
from uh, company to company, depend on who's making it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, see the exact same grinder size. Okay, I'm not gonna deviate that, but this time I'm just gonna use my some uh, plain IMS baskets. Okay, just I IMS baskets. All right. I'm just gonna add uh, add a puck screen. That's it. Okay, uh, puck paper. All right. That's all I'm gonna do. And see, and then what kind of time you're gonna get out of it. Okay. And then uh, let's compare the uh, time and taste is very subjective, but I'm very interesting in the time and the yield. So around 47 gram. Uh, without the paper, with the high ear basket, uh, 24 seconds. With the paper was what, 18 seconds there? So let's find out with this time. Uh, this time I'm going to use a IMS basket with the paper. Let's see. Okay, we're going to get a similar time, faster time or slow time. Who knows? Who knows? All right, here I go. I'm going to get the paper right here. So this is the IMS basket. Right. I'm adding the puck paper. Just go right inside. Again, I'm just gonna uh, just put some wet the paper on the bottom there. So it doesn't, just make sure stick it well. Okay. Everything is the same. Okay, same grind size, same everything. All right. I'm just going to temp it. There we go. Let's pull the shot here, folks. Okay. Yeah, what do you guys think? It's gonna be fellow or slower? Faster or slow? Yeah. Let's find out. Let's find out, folks. All right, here we go. I'm gonna stop at around like 47, 40, yeah, 47 grand. Forty-seven gram at twenty-six seconds. Okay. All right. 47 gram at 26 seconds. Ooh, that is a good time right there. Uh, comes to time wise, uh, that is fantastic. Okay. So, with high ear baskets, uh, without the paper, so it's just a high ear, about 47 gram at like 24 seconds. All right, 24 seconds. So, this one is uh, about a couple of seconds uh, fat, uh, sl uh, slower. Okay. This makes sense, right? Because high ear basket, they give you that, you know, the higher flow rates. The paper does the, pretty much the same thing, but it's slightly slower. Okay, we are talking about a couple seconds different there. Okay, so let's give it a try on this coffee. It comes to recipe wise, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it 
comes to recipe wise, uh, time and extraction. I mean, this is what I what I prefer all the time. So, cheers. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Okay. So with this test, what this test telling us? Okay. With a high ear basket, I'm, I'm, we are talking about the grind size is cons uh, consistent, constant. Okay, exact grind size. High ear baskets is obviously give you the uh, one flow rate. Okay, high ear basket with one paper on the bottom is going to be increase the flow rate. All right, a regular IMS basket with the paper it's going to be a little bit slower than uh, without the paper on the high ear baskets. So what does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? I mean, is that you're going to have a better coffee experience? Ah, man, it's, you're going to have a different coffee experience for sure. All right. It's going to be a different coffee experience. So, so is that worth buying? Okay, so I mean, that is a big question, right? Uh, S-Work selling for 200 bucks. Uni basket selling for 80 bucks. My last and the Posado selling for 65. By the way, I do have a coupon code for okay, 10 percent off through Posado, right? Uh, my name Hoon as a 10 percent off coupon code. I'm gonna put the link down below when I'm done with it. So bring down the price there as well. So you are looking around like 58 dollars. And plus, I think you got a free shipping. Okay. And if you don't want to do that, so now we have a uh, paper options. Okay, you can make your own paper. Uh, you can get a Chemex paper from Amazon. And then uh, you can actually cut it. Okay, you can make your own your paper as well. Okay, you could do that too. It's gonna be less than 30 bucks to the, do the whole setup there. Uh, if not, you can actually buy the paper. Uh, you can buy from, uh, actually, uh, you can buy from Brent at Good Brothers Coffee. The Brent is selling on his website. Okay, Puck Paper. And I have a coupon code for that as well, 15% off. So, if you're a coffee hobbyist out there, okay, you have a lot of options to just mess around, okay. Uh, my buddy Jordan say, you know, we mess around a lot in this channel, so we can actually, you can mess around with coffee, all right. You can have some fun with it. Okay, so it it's all depends. Hold on a second here. Uh, Val say, puck screen decrease your temperature, you need to increase the, uh, t uh, that's the reason why I, <clears throat> I preheat up the puck screen before, and as you saw every time, I heat up with my uh, hot water, okay? So, because puck screen is a metal, anyway, so that's why you want to have the puck screen, you know, hot as possible, and b that is correct, you know? But, again, we are, we are talking about the extraction, it's gonna be, make a that difference in the bottom line there, the taste, uh, most likely not, but you know, hey, you know, I mean, again, play with it anyway, all right? If you have time, just play with it, okay? Okay, we have Terry say, I am, uh, I'm at the very barista competition grind, so, yeah, again, with IMS, basket, they makes all kinds of baskets, guys. I lost count. IMS makes different type of baskets. VST makes who knows how many baskets. So, I mean, you have options. Okay, that's the great thing about coffee as your hobby, if you're a coffee, coffee hobbyist. Steve said, now you have to try, no, I mean, I did already with the two paper. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay, don't. All right. Donut say any plan to compare Oreo and Origami dripper with the whip? Uh, we we done it already. Okay, many times in my channel, donuts. And uh, uh, look it up. Okay, I have uh, I lost counts how many videos on my channel. Last time I checked, I have over twenty one hundred videos on my channel. Okay, I mean if you guys are bored, nothing else to do, just, just you know just go watch or my old videos out there, all right. I have uh, countless hours of video there. It's gonna be waste your a lot of time, all right. That's that that that's a good time to waste your time. 
let's see here. We've been talking for 40 minutes now. I think we are pretty good for this morning, folks. So what we learned today, I don't know, nothing much. All right. But again, uh, I, I'm, yeah, let me know on the, I mean, is that high ear baskets? Is that niche coffee trend or here to stay? Yeah, let me know. Okay, lo love to hear your thoughts on it. Here's the thing about the coffee trend, all right? Somebody needs to come up with a new trend. Okay, if not, you know, I mean, this company has nothing to sell. Okay, because coffee hasn't changed, right? Coffee is constant. Okay, coffee is coffee. But comes to coffee gear, it's changed over the years, especially the last three, four years. Okay, last couple years went crazy. Uh, grinders alone. Maybe we should talk about that next time. We can talk about the grinders. All right, that's another level of craziness. Yeah. We have a, so shout out to Max. Yeah, Max makes all kinds of coffee tours from Amazon as well. Yeah, we got some couple of Amazon uh, business owners watching it. Yeah, Max is a long time viewer from way back when. So, let's see. I think we are, we are good, guys. Oh, hold on a second. Terry say, uh, high extraction is not cheap in Hong Kong. Yeah, you know what? I'm telling you. Yeah, it's not. I mean, U.S., I mean, us in this country, I mean, we are, we got it made here because, I mean, like Posada, right? Uh, they recently changed their shipping cost. They, uh, I bought that basket from Posada Drag, all right? Posada I pay full price on it. Shipping cost was 30 bucks at the time. All right, 30 bucks before I start talking to Posado. I mean, you can, yeah, I mean, I told them you cannot do that too. You know, I mean, people want to buy Posado because they're in you know, Australia company. Uh, they want to expand. Okay, they want to expand to US. I think US has a lot more coffee hobbyist than any other country in the world. So. Uh, hopefully, I mean, I'm, I'm glad, you know, they're giving us the uh, discount code and you know, free shipping over 50 bucks there. I mean, that's definitely, I think they're doing the right thing. All right, let's see here. Uh, uh, Max is asking, how do you think about WDC Champion Brista Hustle WDT tools? Uh, there are another tools from Brista Hustle. WDT tools are out of control, okay? They start with just a what, paper clip way back when, right? Paper clip. Now acupuncture needle. Now this, they went crazy, okay? Doing the, exactly the same thing. It's going to make you a better extraction? Maybe so, okay? Can you tell the difference? I don't know. Okay, De uh, all depend on the coffee though. They all depend on the coffee. Anyway, I hope you guys, uh, I'll be back later today, okay? I'll be back later today, and I'm going to be, hopefully I'm going to, uh, we are going to talk to Josh this afternoon. Uh, Josh from Alternative Brewing. Uh, we got scheduled for 3 p.m., okay, my time here, Arizona time. And uh, his time is about 9 a.m. over there, so I'm going to be, uh, you know, right now, that's middle of the night right now, so hopefully I'm going to get a hold of him later and have him on, and then we gotta, he's gonna show us, it's gonna be really cool, he's gonna show us the Commandante C60. He has one, okay, on his hand. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that as well. And also, he has a lot of grinders on his studio, so we're gonna talk about some grinders he has. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun to talk to Josh this afternoon. Because I'm really excited to talk about the Commandante C60. This 60 millimeter, uh, grinder from Commandante. So C40 I have here, that's Mark II, Mark IV, I think, Mark II or Mark IV. That's 40 millimeter conical, okay? Uh, Easy Presso, they are 48 millimeter, okay? So this one is a Commandante C60, 60 millimeter conical birds. That's very impressive. And also impressive price as well. Uh, we are talking more than $600 for the hand grinder. You thought Piatra was expensive. That's 475. Okay, Commandante 60 C60 as of now, starting at six over 600. We don't know exactly how much, 
But I bet you everything said and done, we are pushing seven, eight hundred dollars. Okay, just a hand grinder. Okay. Uh, yeah, I cannot wait to talk to him about that. Yeah, so make sure to watch out for that as well. All right, guys. See you guys next time.